motherfucker running around with his bullshit, cheating on his wife, doing all this crazy shit. So, you know, the guy's a mess. You know, he hasn't won in four years or something. So, like I said, he needs me more than I need him. <laughs> Jake, what have you made of Tommy's career so far? Say it again? What have you made of Tommy's career so far? What have I made of Tommy's career so far? I'll answer that question by saying I've made Tommy's career so far. No, no one knew or talked about this guy. No one even knew Tyson Fury had a little brother. Like, it, I was like, wait a second. Tyson Fury took his shit. And he, had a, he has a little brother that little popped out. Like, where did he come from? As soon as he started talking about me and calling me out and saying all this stuff, that's when Tommy Fury's Google searches started spiking. It's literally an actual numerical fact that as soon as Tommy started talking about me, his trending went 10 times more, his engagement went more. So I, I basically made his career and there's nothing wrong with that. Anyone who fights me becomes famous. Anyone who fights me gets a payday, they, they become rich. So. That's just the level this has gotten to, and he, he hasn't done anything to impress me. That's why I don't have any respect for him. He, he's riding his brother's coattails. He's fought a bunch of losers, and December 18th, people are gonna see him get exposed. Are you, are you gonna go toe to toe and stay in the front? Are you gonna box him like you did Tyson? I'm gonna go toe to toe. Come, come at him and knock him out. You know, the, the guy can't take a punch. What about his power? You think he has power? He don't got power. He don't got power. He fought my sparring partner, Anthony Taylor. Anthony was like, he hits. He hit, he, he's got soft hands. You know, Tommy Tommy has good combinations. Uh, he's got fast hands, but he doesn't have power. He can't fight coming backwards. He's rigid. He doesn't have head movement. So we're going to take away all the things that he does good and expose him. He doesn't have a chin. He's never been hit by someone his own size. He's fighting smaller guys who have barely won any fights. If you fight Kamaru Russo wants to fight Canelo, would you fight Kamaru Russo? He has a name and a belt in the UFC. Usman called you out, bro. Yeah. See, Usman like, started this whole thing on an interview somewhere where he was saying he wanted to fight me. And I was like, let's do it. Let's run it. No problem. Get your boss, Dana. Get your dad. And see if your dad will let you out of your contract to fight me. Again, like, I'm, I'm not scared of anybody. I will fight anybody. I am a better striker than 99.9% .9 of the people in the UFC. Maybe some of the heavyweights could sit in there and spar with me, but that's about it. And people think I'm crazy, but look, I'm gonna prove everyone wrong and they'll come back to this interview years later and say, damn. This kid knew what the fuck he was talking about. Do you think Usman beats Kobe again? You know, just curious, because I know you yeah, are close. I mean, I think Usman beats Kobe. Usman's definitely dominant in the UFC right now, especially at 170. But people forget, you know, I'm, I'm 190. He, he's going to come up and wait uh, and fight someone his real own size. In a boxing match, I'd beat Kamar Usman easy, no problem. You finish him. No problem. Jake, what's your prediction? No what's your predict? Oh, sorry. It's okay. What's your prediction for the Canelo fight? Uh, prediction for the Canelo fight. Man, I want Caleb to win. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Caleb. Yeah, he's one of my favorite fighters. I think it, I think it's gonna be a decision, and it, it's really a swing fight for me. I think it's based on how the judges score it. I think you know the judges are gonna want to favor Canelo because he's Canelo. So Caleb's gonna have to go in there and really beat the champion. It's gonna be a close one. You and Canelo are sharing.